Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got another review for you and this one is for Tinker Racers, a tabletop racing game that may look a little familiar if you grew up with a PS1 in your house. Does this Micro Machines wannabe cut the mustard or does it crash into the mustard and fall off the kitchen table? Let's find out. Tinker Racers is obviously inspired by a little game from a few years back. And yes, I'm obviously talking about Micro Machines. If you played games during the mid to late 90s, you'll have come across Micro Machines at some point, or at the very least heard about it. It was a classic racer that ditched the tarmac for the tabletop, and the beastie engines for matchbox racers. Sadly, the Micro Machines games have been left in the past, but there is a new contender revving its engines at the ketchup stain starting line, and it's Tinker Racers. While I've got you here, do us a favour and feed the algorithm by dropping a like and a comment down below, and give us a subscribe if you like what we do. Cheers, my dears. Tinker Racers takes a bit of a deviation from Micro Machines lap racing by putting the focus on sneaky driving and survival tactics as you throw your little racing car across a variety of tracks slapped together with everyday objects. To start, it's very easy. The controls are very simple. You go forward, you turn left and right. There is a reverse button, but it's not very useful. If you need to use it, you're losing a point because you'll soon be off screen and respawning with the rest of the pack. Races aren't real races, as there aren't any laps, timers or positions. It's a points game where the goal is to get 5 points before the other races do. It's you against the AI, and as the game progresses, the amount of AI controlled cars increases, meaning that you need to outpace several cars to gain one measly point. You gain points by driving far enough in front of the opposition so that they go off screen, or destroying them by smashing them into objects. It can be a bit tense then, and maintaining a good rhythm for longer does become challenging, especially as the tracks get trickier the further you go into the game. I have to admit that it was a bit odd at first to not be racing in a traditional way, but I soon came around to the idea of the game's survival focus. It made for some great tense moments where I was tied 4-4 with the AI and the next cock-up would mean starting the stage all over again. That might not sound too bad, but some stages can run for around 10 minutes if it's a closely fought battle, so if you value your time, it can be a bit annoying. Generally though, the game is good fun and it captures the spirit of Micro Machines very well, thanks in no small part to the game's design. The stages are well thought out, taking place across several rooms in a typical house. You'll start off in the bedroom avoiding toys, marbles and more before pulling skids across the kitchen stove as popcorn blocks away and ketchup slows you down. Then there's the office with office stuff and it's a very messy office. I couldn't play that stage without thinking how awful it must be to work in that home office. For a start, the keyboard and mouse aren't even ergonomic. You've got to take care of your posture when sitting at a desk, and I know that all too well as the nerves in my neck, shoulders and chest are f***ed. My strange observations aside, the levels are really cool, and while there aren't that many rooms to race in, they do change around a little with each new stage forcing you to relearn what you thought you already knew and to adapt to new obstacles, turns and even blind spots. As a cheap and cheerful release, Tinker Racers does a lot right and rarely slips into the wrong gear. The music is a little annoying because it's so repetitive, but it's nothing that can't be solved by putting the killers on Spotify. The controls are simple and easy to get to grips with, though there is a lack of customization when it comes to the cars, which for me isn't a problem, I just want to play a game and have some fun, but others may miss the opportunity to personalize the simple vehicles. You may also find the survival gameplay isn't for you, in which case there are traditional races and even support for local multiplayer races, which is a nice touch, but not something I can really put to good use at the moment because, well, Rona. Costing less than an overpriced coffee, Tinker Racers is a bargain buy, and for me at least, it's an easy game to recommend. And that is the end of this review. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful in some way. If you did, you know what I'm going to say. Go down below and give us a like, leave a comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're the first to know whenever we've got new stuff. We appreciate your support and if you want to go a step further, you can throw some bones our way 
via our supporters page and you'll find the link down in the info box along with our social media channels and website links. I've been Chris, I really do care about ergonomics, so get your posture right and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.